are always asking me every year, is there a Philly in the Derby? And no, most years there aren't Phillies in the Derby. There, there have been years where Phillies should have run in the Derby, like Rachel Alexandra, who didn't and crushed in the Oaks and came back and uh, won the Preakness over Mind That Bird. But uh, this year is a celebration of an anniversary of a very special Philly that rose up and won the Roses, winning colors. Kathleen Nicky has more on that. And, and here's this plaque talking about his girl winning colors. Yeah, his girl winning colors. Winning colors is stamped on trainer D. Wayne Lucas's heart, as well as his barn. Kind of became a running joke that he would never win the Kentucky Derby because all the time he would run three, four horses in the race, none of them would ever end up winning. And he was so confident in winning colors coming into that year, she was the only one that he ran in the race. And she was a filly, and only two fillies had won the Derby before. Why would D. Wayne Lucas take a chance on her being his only horse that year? He would take a chance because he knew from the moment that he saw her. He said that as soon as he saw her out there in the sales ring, his heart just started pounding. What would he have seen in her? What was it? Well, she was massive. She was actually nicknamed the Amazon. But she wasn't all size. She had spirit, too. When she was here for the Derby leading up to the race itself while they were getting saddled in the paddock, she was actually kind of lunging at all the male horses, trying to bite at them, trying to intimidate them a little bit. So that way they wouldn't want to pass her when they saw her out there on the racetrack. They were too afraid of her at that point. So winning colors, Kentucky born and bred. She's a Kentucky lady. Kentucky born and bred, just like most Derby winners. Speaking of that Derby win. 49er came up to her right as they're getting to the finish line. And down the stretch they come. Winning colors in front. Here comes 49er on the outside. Gary Stevens just gives her a little bit more of a chirp, lets her out a little bit more. She just digs in. She wins the race by a head. So he knew that he had it in the bag the whole time. And poor Pat Day, he found out a little bit too late that he wasn't going to get by winning colors. Why should we remember winning colors today? There have been dozens and dozens of Derby winners. Why is winning colors special? Well, part of the reason why she is so special is because she is the last filly that won the Kentucky Derby. Kind of a great reminder that the girls can hold their own against the boys when they run against them and that they're just as competitive and they're just as good as the boys. And when you have that star filly, they should come out here and take a shot at the roses. All right, very good. Thank you, Kathleen. We all remember and love winning colors, and we want another Philly in the Derby soon.